In this episode, let us explore how to eliminate white spaces from the input string. Well, what I mean to say is that if my input is join ABC, get skilled, get placed or take complete refund. Just in case this happens to be my input string, then the output has to be like this. Well, you can notice that all the white spaces present in the string have been eliminated and that is the program that I'm supposed to write in this episode. How to write it? Let's explore. Let me consider my input back on the screen. Well, this statement, join ABC, get skilled, get placed or take complete refund actually happens to be the stated policy at ABC. Anyway, the stated policy is what I'm using to also explain this program. Nevertheless, as you can see, the input string has a lot of white spaces. These are the white spaces. Well, the spaces may appear black to you because it is in the backdrop of a black background that I'm teaching you the concept. So if you want, you can call it as black spaces, but technically around the world, we call these as the white spaces and how to eliminate these white spaces. Well, even before I tell you how to eliminate these white spaces, let me tell you there are two types of white spaces here. What are the two types? Let me explain. If you will notice my input string carefully, you would realize that there are a total of nine white spaces. Well, out of the nine white spaces, these three and these two, a total of five are actually created by pressing the space bar which is there on the keyboard. You know, a keyboard looks like this and whenever I press the space bar key, there is a space that gets created and these five represent the white space created due to the pressing of the space bar. And if you'll ask me, the remaining four, how are these white spaces created? Well, I should say that these remaining four are not created by pressing the space bar on the keyboard. Rather, there is something called as the tab key as well on the keyboard. And by pressing the tab key, I've got these remaining four white spaces. Anyway, whether the white space is created using the space bar or by using the tab, it's immaterial. I have to eliminate every kind of a white space and how to do it, let me tell you. To remove all the white spaces, all that I have to do is to make use of the inbuilt method. And if you'll ask me which inbuilt method, well, the replace all inbuilt method. And how to use it? Very simple. All that I have to say to this replace all inbuilt method is to replace all the white spaces like this with empty strings like this. So whenever a white space is encountered, it will be replaced by an empty string and hence I would be able to get my output. Anyway, how the complete program looks like? Let's explore. I would begin by creating a string with the data join ABC, get skilled, get placed or take complete refund. As you can see, there are a lot of white spaces in the input string and to eliminate all of them, I will have to make use of the replace all method like this. And not just that, after the replacement, how does the output look? For that, this is the print statement which helps me to print the output anyway. This is the complete program and when I'll execute, this is the output. Well, as you can notice, the output is not as per our expectations. And if you'll ask me how the expected output would be, this is the way the expected output is. And you can notice that my program has failed to produce the expected output. In fact, if you will notice the output carefully, you would realize that my program has been successful in eliminating white spaces, but it has been successful in eliminating only such white spaces that were created by the space bar. The program has not been successful in eliminating such white spaces that were created using the tab key. That is what you are noticing in the output and that is the reason I am telling that this is not the expected output. What I want is to not just eliminate the white spaces created by the space bar, I would also like to eliminate the white spaces created by the tab key. So what change should I be making in my program? Let me explain. 
so in this program this is the statement which failed in eliminating the white spaces so what i would do is eliminate the statement itself but one thing as viewers you need to know is i will still require the services of the replace all method like this but i have to instruct the replace all method properly what i have to tell it this time is that it needs to replace even the white spaces created by the tab with empty string or in other words this is the way i have to tell it and if you'll ask me what it means please understand slash t stands for a tab and what i am telling here is that kindly replace all the white spaces created by the tab with empty string that is what is being told here and i would make this statement as a part of my program like this and when i'll execute the program this is the output well again if you notice the output is not as per our expected output but i'm sure by now if you will notice it you will realize that my program has been successful in eliminating such white spaces that were created by the tab key but this time it is failing to eliminate such white spaces that were created by the space bar that is what you are noticing in the output so what i want to say to you as viewers is that i as a programmer should be writing such a program which will eliminate both kinds of white spaces such white spaces that were created by the space bar as well as such white spaces created by the tab key how to write that program let's proceed so this time this statement was incapable of giving me the required output so i would eliminate that statement but i would still require the replace all method what i should say to you is that i need to instruct the replace all method properly i should tell my replace all method to replace all kinds of white spaces which goes to show that i should not be making use of the slash t escape sequence rather i should be making use of the slash s escape sequence please understand the slash t the slash s all of these we call them as escape sequences and this video is not for me to speak about escape sequences maybe moving forward i will discuss escape sequences but at this point in time what you as a viewer has to understand is that just in case you need to eliminate all kinds of white spaces then this is the way that you have to instruct your replace all method what i am trying to say to the replace all here is to eliminate all kinds of white spaces anyway i'll make this as a part of my program and then when i'll execute it this is the output so you can notice that my output this time is as per my expected results i am sure that though you are convinced with the output of the program you still have two issues bothering you firstly what is an escape sequence and secondly if really slash t and slash s were the escape sequences then why within the replace method i have made use of the double slash t and the double slash s well if these are the questions really that are bothering you then let me tell you there are two ways to find a solution to this firstly figure it out yourself after all there is so much of content available on the internet and the second and the simplest way is just enroll to our classroom training leave the rest upon abc we will do it for you we will ensure that you are going to get thoroughly shaped as a software professional in the 3 to 3 and a half months of training and the placement services at abc are so robust that every company almost every company recruits from abc every single day and you would be going out of abc with a job offer in hand and just in case we don't live up to this promise we are going to refund your entire money so what are you really waiting for i'm sure you would make the best judgment for now i'm sure you have understood the program and keep continuing to watch this episode series keep gaining knowledge